Um, Toby, I suppose Facebook hopes that the, the new product that they're about to launch will fight off Google, Google Plus. That's the way they see it. Absolutely. It's very much a, a battle for dominance in terms of having the best set of features and functionality that the users of these social networks want. A message to, to your friends. Uh, now you're actually going to be able to be, be involved in that conversation. Yeah, that's right. And w one of the things that uh, people like Facebook and Google have found is that if you're seeing someone in, in a video conference, you're seeing them face to face, you see them, their reaction, that pr produces a much better quality of conversation. Mm -hmm. So uh, that in turn then leads to people spending more time on the social network, which is in, in the interest of either Facebook or Google. Right. And presumably multiple conversations can happen as well visually? Well, that's the new, that's the big innovation. So always before with Skype, we've had for free to be able to uh, video conference with anybody around the world. Mm -hmm. Now you can video conference with multiple people at the same time. So if you imagine for, for, for a group of, um, group of youngsters at school, for instance, it might be you know, seeing everybody in your class in the same, in the same Google Hangout or Facebook chat. Yeah. Um, and actually, I would have thought there were uh, repercussions for business as well. It's one thing talking about young people, but, you know, somebody's in Manchester, somebody's in Leeds, somebody's in Plymouth. Uh, they don't all have to fly and meet somewhere centrally. Well, well one of the interesting I ideas that Google are putting forward is the idea that these hangouts are always on. So, the, so for, if you're working in a virtual team, you might have your webcam always on so your, your fellow colleagues would see you uh, and be able to kind of poke, poke you or tap you on the shoulder in the same way as if you were working in the office, in the same office, in the same space. Yeah. Does that float your boat, Charlotte? Yeah, you see, the thing is, I'm not convinced about this. I know it would be a great way to keep in touch with friends, say, if they'd moved up to, you know, the other part of the country, for example. Whereas at the moment, you know, you can sit at home in your pyjamas and send emails and things, uh, but you really don't want to be doing yes. that. If you're if you haven't like, got your makeup on. I know, could you imagine? Yes. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's true. I think that what I work in a virtual team myself now, and one of the things that we find is that, that, that we're always looking for the best quality of conversation. So if I can see my fellow workmate, and if I see him in his pyjamas, I might not give him such a hard time if I see he's all ready to go and, and wants to answer the question. And what about the fact that this is all quite mainstream, and, and you know, does it need to be something new that comes along next? Um, I think, I think that we're, we're going to see a continued ba continue battle between the big players for um, having the best social network. Uh, the, the big next question is, is what happens on the smartphone and how this relates to what happens on our mobile phones. That's really where Google and Facebook All are All I see is it's, it's another, another opportunity. You have to change your phone, your computer, <laughs> get into it, if there's one else. Uh, all very interesting. It all begins and kicks off that today. Toby, thanks for giving us an insight into that. We're going to return to our top story now and the, the latest revelations about uh, possible phone hackings by the news of the world last night.